been working, collaborating. Okay. I wonder if, because I've been doing five o'clock every day and I didn't send my email out today if a bunch of people think that I'm coming on tomorrow. But see, now I know who's checking their calendar. Right. Mm -hmm. right. There you go. Well, we, yeah, we got it. And tomorrow yeah. is 1 Central, 2 p.m. Eastern. Uh, yeah, it's early. No, I think it's 1 Pacific. We'll see. We'll see. So with that, why don't I share my screen to go look at my or look at my calendar, actually, which is in who knows where the calendar is. All right. So it's in the it's back on the train. of uh, the box. <laughs> where? What do I click on? In the on? butt area. In the what area? In the butt area of our of our back office of where we can create our templates and all that at the bottom. Uh, um, I don't, I have not really been checking out this site. I've been too busy. Oh, uh, this is the site. So who knows? Oh, it's right where you, uh, it says your link on the top. I know it's somewhere in there. That's all no, I do. That's not the one. I'm going to give you a hint. It's one of these blue buttons. It's how to share FBS. There we go. Now what? And then scroll down to training for you. There we go, Ernest. Yeah. Uh, hey, I had right. to hunt and pack. So this is uh, this is Pacific Standard Time. So for wow, tomorrow, so for, for tomorrow, the training is at one o'clock Pacific. But, uh, time. We went on to Aldi's and got it. I'm hearing a bunch of feedback there. If you guys could please mute oh, your mind. I'm gonna mute mine right now. I'm gonna mute yeah. mine. All right, I just muted everybody. I think I muted it. And you can you can always unmute yourself. Okay. So that's where you find our training. All right. So that's in there. Um, let me start with something that's new. Uh, um, I'm looking, I'm looking, oh, it might be, I got so many windows. I think it's over here. Yeah. So, uh, no, this is the um, free, free bot system support. So freebotsystemsupport.com. And this should just, this should work. We just updated this today. All righty. So when you come over here to frequently ask questions, so again, freebotsystemsupport.com. So if you have questions, come over here to FAQs. And now we have a searchable database. So you can come down here and say, oh, if somebody give me a word that should be in the question or one of these answers. You can cheat by looking at the words right here. <laughs> Compensation plan. Thank you. So I just can tell you thing with regarding searching, just type in the first word. If you type, if the more you type in, the less likely you are to find what you want. So we type in compensation, click on search, and there we go. Anything that has the word compensation in the question or the answer. So over here, see, no, no word compensation there, there, or there. Uh, pick one of these three for me, if you would, Al, since you spoke up first. Any one of the three, just say one, two, or three. Two. All right, I'll, I'm gonna pick the first one. We'll just do these one oh, at a time. my bad, right? I was a mute too. My bad, I oh. was a mute too. Yeah, my okay. bad. <laughs> All right, so you know what? Compensation, that's a good word to talk about, right? So, um, so I'm gonna start with the first one. So I typed in the word and search, right? So every day we're trying not trying, we're doing what we can to make things easier for you to get what you need, right? You got questions, we want you to get answers. So you come here to freebotsystemsupport.com, type in what you want, click search, compensation. All right, can you earn money without ever paying anything? And the answer to that, there we go, I got to click on it. Yes, you can earn an unlimited income on our first compensation plan called the monthly contacts plan, even if you never pay us anything. That's very unique. I hope you know that. 
So in case you forget, you can always come here, do a search, and there's your answer. Let's look at the second point, uh, question. Can I get compensated for sharing the FreeBot system? Yes, we have three different compensation plans with two of the compensation plans being residual and one of which you can earn without ever paying anything. That's the one we just talked about. You can learn about all of them at the following. So you can click on that and that'll take you to a video and you can you watch the video viewers, there. For the next 96 hours, we're bringing back nine of our favorite tools. That's right, guy. All right, so we're not gonna watch that video now, but that's our compensation video, okay? So you not only can read about answers, we're gonna put a bunch of videos in here as well. How do I earn on the three different incomes from the FreeBot system? The requirements to earn on three different income compensation plan can be seen on your support site. You can also learn more by going to this video. And I'm not sure if that's the same video, maybe it is. I think that might be, but you get the idea, okay? Now, in addition to that, if you don't see, let me just refresh the page. If you don't see, I'm gonna come back over here and click on frequently asked questions. Then if you don't see your question here or find your answer, you can click here. If you don't see your question in the FAQ, click on that. And that takes you down here to the bottom. So you can come down here and type in the title for a question. If you have an answer, enter it there and then put in your name, okay? And that way, if we will review your answer, if we like it, then we'll publish it. We might like it, but make a minor modification. Uh, if you have a specific question you want us to get back to you, we know who you are, okay? So that's new today. Any question, since it's a frequently asked question, any question on the questions? All right, that's, I guess not. All right, how about just um, questions in general? What do you guys want to see? We've been doing a lot of training, so I want to make sure I address what you guys want or need. Lamar, you got a question? Yeah. Um, I've got a question. I, I set think, up my um, okay. Facebook page, but it doesn't come up as free. What do you mean as free? Well, at the, at the bottom um, left-hand corner, when you set it up, when you showed us, you there was a link there that says free as you clicked on after you put the information in. On my page, it says promotion, which means I got to pay. When you set up your Facebook page. Okay. I set it up today. And uh, as I said, when I get down to the bottom, Put in all my information, it says promotion. And and when you hit promotion, it comes up as uh, how much you want to pay per day. Oh, like what I had before. I don't know if it's defaulting no, no. back to my old page. Yeah. I, I think what that sounds like to me, Lloyd, when yes. you know Facebook is in the business of advertising, making money from people advertising. So when they say promotion, they're probably asking you, oh, do you want to promote your Facebook page? If so, how much do you want to pay to advertise your Facebook page? Okay, but to get a Facebook page like this flag we clicked on the other day, that's your Facebook pages. So if I click, this is one that, that I have connected with my bot. Um, you know, it's free to create a Facebook page. So I don't know where you saw the promotion because I'm not paying Facebook to promote my page, but I'm sure you can. Okay, so it sounds like that's what you're referring to. So somewhere- no, I, 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 fill, I fill in all the information and on that left-hand side, down at the bottom on my page, it says promotion. Oh, there it is right there, promote. See that on mine? Yeah, way yeah, so down on the bottom. That's there. Facebook is prompting me for, do I want to promote my Facebook page? Mm -hmm. So if I want to promote this page and I click on it, page not allowed to advertise. Oh, wow. It's restricted from advertising. I wonder why. 
That's new. Hmm. You have to find that. Find I wish I had that. that. I, I, I wish I had that. That that come up for me. Yeah, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try a different page just for curiosity. Facebook doesn't want my money. Page not allowed to advertise. I wonder if it's because I have the bot on it. Well, no. We'll find out. How about let's try prices possibilities. Remote. Nope. All right. Facebook doesn't want my money. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know the answer to that, but that's that's you know, that's something else has nothing to do with us or the bot, Lloyd. Okay. Okay, that's 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 one of the questions I had. Okay. The other if question you... is um uh white white listing. Okay. When you go to your um all right, so I'll go back to your, yeah. When you go to your, um, like where, where you were previous to this, where, where you got your um, frequently asked questions. Yeah, over there. So in my, and at the bottom. Asked, over here under training, under bot, we have yeah. a, we have a train listing of, domains. Yes, sir. I click on that, all I got is a video. I got, got no instructions on what does that really mean. Yeah, it's, it's a video that shows you how to do it. It's less than four minutes. And basically what this video that's less than four minutes will do. Now we are- So it's three minutes, domain, three minutes and 56 seconds. In order for your automated messenger bot to show up on a web page. So first you're gonna go over to your Facebook pages by going to the top of- So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna expand this. So um, I'm going to watch it on YouTube. So I can make it larger and I'm going to turn my volume up. And clicking on We're not going to watch the whole thing, there, of course, for the pages. but I just want to show you see the pages down what it starts. Middle. What it starts doing is saying, hey, you click on this flag up here then you see your pages and so forth. OK, and then it's going to show how after a little while, you know, I've, I've used Camtasia to record this to make sure you know where to go. Oh, you're gonna click here, then you're gonna click there, all of that. Okay, hey, Scott. Um, Quick clarification as well. Yep. This is really for people who don't have KWA because KWA will do all this for you. So you don't have to touch this if you're already building your pages in, in Kingdom Wealth Alliance. Okay, so that's something new. Actually, Scott just told me earlier today that if you're using our marketing system called Kingdom Wealth Alliance, and you're, you know, you're, you're using a page and you pick your domain, let's say you want to do a particular page and you pick your domain that you have, let's say whatever the page is, then, then our system will automatically do the white listing for you. But if you're not using Kingdom Wealth Alliance, then you will need to watch the video, which again is on our free bot system support site, put your mouse on training, then on bot over here to whitelisting your domains. And that, you know, you have to have your domain whitelisted in order for it to show up, okay? So yes, Lloyd, this is just a video, but it's walking you through literally, uh, well, over here, when I clicked on uh, the pages here, so I'll just back up. Then I selected this particular page, my Facebook page. Then now on the lower left-hand side, I come and click on settings and the video is going to walk you through every one of these steps. And then after I've selected settings, then I'm going to come up here to advanced messaging. Okay. And once you've done that, then in the middle of the page, that's where you can whitelist your domains. Okay. Okay. I guess I didn't complete that page. You got to watch it. Yeah, you got to watch the video and you do need to do this, if you, especially if you're not using Kingdom Wealth Lights, you must have a domain whitelisted in order for the bot to appear on your page. Okay. So how okay. about so, someone else? And you, I noticed a couple new people on the call. Ed, welcome, Ed. Welcome, Bryant. Welcome, Steve. And I think I got... And I think I said hi to you, Clayton, and Charles, and Rose. Welcome, Rose. And Connie. Hey, Connie. Welcome to the call. Um, all right. So who else has a question? What do you guys I want to I had a quick question. 
All right, Ernest. Um, I've signed up a couple of people and I put it up here in the chat, but they're not showing up in my pre-launch organization. And I'm just wondering if that was going to populate on the live launch or is it supposed to show up in my organization? Yeah, no, it will show up in your organization. Because it's not showing on my organization and it's also not showing up under Ross Fi, uh, Russ Fi on his second generation because I signed up under Russ. And I'm just wondering, you know, if it well, who was did, a, Who's someone that you, you, you how do you uh, know that person? Jeff up? Spangler and uh, Anthony French. Okay, hold on. Let's just take one at a time. So how do you know that they signed up? Because uh, they said they did, <laughs> and I gave them the link. I gave I gave them the sign up link, not the resource right. link. Let Let's do this. What is your sign up link? I'll go sign up, and we'll go check your report right away. Uh, you need the numbers on my link. Yes, sir. I need your link. Uh, so that means whole link. the whole link. The the whole link on my. The referral link, link. The link that you give people to sign up. So you should know what that is. It's or, right here. Or, yeah. or, you know, be able to access it quickly. Yeah. I'm gonna, you want me to put it in chat? Uh, sure. And then I noticed David Samuels on the call. Welcome, David. I okay. The there it is in chat. 101.8250. The 101. So let me Freebot system launch.com. So I'm, I'm going to go. Let's just give me a minute here, please. So I'm going to go to your link. So, what's your support site page? How do we get there? Now, the support site, I'll get that. Hang on. Okay. Let me get back over here to uh, exit. No, full three, screen. I know how to maneuver around in this thing. I've done this a few times. <laughs> let me right. go back to my. I call it my support I was just site. on another call that they called the hot seat. So we're, this is the real hot seat. We're putting you on the hot seat, Ernest. What's hey. your link? Hey, there's hey, Nancy. The call, we man. are right here. There's my support link. All right. So I'm going to. That's gonna, the link that I get after I signed up. Right, right, right. I got gotcha. you. So I'm going to show it first. So. And um, when, I, go, when I scroll gonna, down there, I look, there's nothing there in the pre-join. Okay, let's see. So yours is Ernest Odell, your organization. So that's your contact. Ernest, do you have, did you sign up more than once? Because you might be having two different links. Oh, I signed up under Russ. Now, Brian Kiplinger did show this to me several weeks back, but I don't, I don't think I signed up on Dream. It doesn't matter. We use cookies. The first person I show you gets credit for the sale. Okay. So, so we need to check Brian's yeah. report to see if you showed so up there. Maybe yes. I signed up under Brian because he showed this to me several weeks back. Yeah. So that's, so there's always, there's always a reason. I'm going to go to Brian's. <laughs> Hey, me and Brian, you know, we, we cook together, man. Right, <laughs> the kid's on. a genius. <laughs> on, Brian. Okay, so I'm going to go into his account, and I'm going to go to his support site. Welcome to Kingdom Wealth Alliance. And Our goal is to help you. This. And we're going to go there. And then would you, well, we'll find out here. So I'm going to just real time, bring it right over here. This is Brian's, okay? So I'm going to click on close, click on your organization. Let's see how many Brian has. Brian has over 3,000. That's the largest I've seen. Wow, look at that. Real he's time. Got, he's no, got more Clay Montgomery. Yeah, well, because he's probably got Clay underneath him. Well, that's why. There's Clay right there. Yeah. All right, so... You signed up probably, so let me do a search. Control F. Yep. E R N. What? No. No. E R N E S T is not there. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, okay. Nope. You didn't sign up underneath. That. Now, does it show my upline if you go into the back office and look at my uh, history? Does it show me under anybody? 
it won't show you your upline. I mean, this was interesting. I think you, I think he's asking you, Michael, if you can see his upline. If I can see his upline? Yeah. yeah. There's one way to do it. All right. Yeah. So it's a little complicated, but I'm going to do this. So you're. Do you have oh, to actually get into the database? Uh, I got to go. Basically. Uh, <laughs> I got to go over here to this. Scott knows what I'm talking about. So Ernest Odell. Yeah. Okay. So I got to come over here. I, I've been an old C panel hacker for a long time. So I'm going to do this. I've I've messed up many a database on some of my blogs. <laughs> Trust me. All right. So now I got your email address that you signed up with. So I want to yeah. check that. I know we're doing kind of supports the wow you've been in here more than once so i'm going to do negative what one. i've been in there more than once no hold on oh i know where i'm going it's kind of um, like my 14 accounts over at that other company we won't talk about <laughs> so, email address and give me hmm. just a second because i want to prove that this thing is not broken I want to see who you signed up under. You signed up under 1018036. You signed up under Russ. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I signed up under Russ. Okay. So you did sign up under Russ. But it's not showing up in his second generation, and I'm not seeing anything in mine for the people that signed up under me. Um, I can give you both of their email addresses if you want them. Okay. Um, better income at gmail.com. I think it's okay. Jeff's better. or pocket better income. One, one second. One second. I can't do that. The other. Okay. So Jeff Spangler. There we go. So yeah. Jeff Spangler signed up under Ernest Odell. Okay. Okay. Yep. And he the did. other one is Anthony French, Anthony A. French at yahoo.com. Tell you how much these guys trust me. They even trust me with their logins and passwords. Okay, yep. There's an Anthony French who signed up under Ernest Odell. Okay, so now, okay. so why don't Scott? Can you see what questions they have? I'm just curious now. So your account is this is your. It's, it's just a free I, account. For I'm right just now. wondering if you have the right support site. So that's what I'm trying to figure out um so okay so so i know your account number so i'm gonna see if i can figure this out here really quickly so you yeah. think i'm on the wrong support site i'm i'm, I'm wondering if, i'm wondering if you signed up twice and you're underneath someone else but trying to leverage the time for everyone else we're not doing tech support kind of things like yeah. i can fix up later but yeah as you can tell when I'm looking you, you up, I can tell, yep, this person signed up underneath that person. Um, so if I know, I'm gonna check one more thing. So who else has another question, something we can answer? I just wanna make a comment, Michael, wouldn't the system send him an email for those people that signed up automatically? It's, it's, no, it's only saying to people that signed up right now. Okay. It's not, yeah, well, he said, he, he said they signed up. Oh, well, actually, well, I had him on the phone and I had him on a Zoom call. So I saw him sign up. It's just that I don't so know if he got an email. an email from Crisis Possibilities. Yeah. I think they did get an email and they plugged in their links, but I don't know. Jeff said he confirmed or got an email and so did Anthony. Uh, oh, okay. So, so you're, okay. I think I just figured something out here. So you. Well, are, we can work on it later. You know, if Scott has time to work on it tomorrow, I don't want to spend all night on a support call. Yeah. No, no, I just want to be, I want to be considerate of your time and Scott's time yep. and everybody else. Yep, exactly. So I take the means of replace it. Because you get the gist of what I was asking. Contacts. 
And I'm going to paste in that ID. Oh, hold on. Enter the email address. So your email address. Emsgroupster at gmail.com. Yep, there we go. Yeah. I'm not always the brightest bulb in the value pack. Sometimes I go supernova and just burn out. So. <laughs> <laughs> It happens, Bryant. <laughs> Your contact and all Sometimes I just have too many things going on. <laughs> referred by. Okay. And then I have to put the referred by. What was Russ's number? Do you know Russ's number? No, I don't. All right. I'll find it. And he had to work late tonight. That's why he's not on the call. He said to tell everybody hi. 101 8036 101 so 101 8036 there we go so 101 101 8036 all right let's look at it later sorry it was getting the best okay. and i'm like we're going to i That's think okay. you i think you probably signed up under someone twice cuz what i wanted to show you here maybe this is what i should have just done i'll come here so you guys give me a fake name or something like that. Somebody Elmer Dinkeldorf. Elmer <laughs> Dinker Dinkeldorf. Dinkeldorf. Yeah, Dinkeldorf. Uh, close enough. Elmer <laughs> Dinkeldorf. <laughs> Dinkeldorf. That, that was one of the monikers I used to use years ago. <laughs> All right. So, so when I do that, it's going to prompt to make sure I'm a real person. PD, enter. Is that case sensitive? And that gives me my own. No, that gives me my own support site, right? Yeah. So I should be over here on your page. If I'm not, then you've got the wrong page. For the wrong print. Nope, there I am. See? Real time. Okay. So now what I need to do is go back over to my support page. So the, the support page you gave me works with the sign up page you gave me. My um, suspicion, so I want to use this for everyone, is I think some people have signed up underneath themselves. And uh -oh. then you've got two different links. And you're checking under one, you're giving people the one that you signed up under, but you're checking under the one you signed up, you yourself signed up under. And you're like, how come I don't have anybody over here? It's working. So that's what I just wanted to prove. So I should have just done this right off the bat and I'll diagnose and figure out why later. But yeah, for this sign up page that you gave me, it, uh, well, it got, I got redirected. So that's my support site now. But if I go back, you know, this sign up page that you gave me 101-8250, someone else can do that if they want to, but you don't know, don't do that. We don't need more accounts. And there's Elmer. Okay. I'm, I'm seeing it now over on my page. Okay. Yeah, I see the same thing. All right. On my support site. Okay. I'll uh, bet you, I'll bet you Ernest, because what I saw in the database is your contact in there a lot of times. You probably signed up in the, underneath yourself, is my guess. Oh, really? You might have tested it once. Oh, gosh. All right. So I must, how have, else? I must have went supernova on this one. Yeah. How else? How else can we help you guys? Who's got a question? I got that a will, question, Michael. That will pertain to everyone, hopefully. Ed, yes. Hey, uh, so I'm a lifetime member. I upgraded life. I went all in. Okay. I'm using KWA. Can okay. I, or can I start using KWA uh, sales pages or landing pages with the chat bot already? Like, can yeah. I go into KWA and set up a funnel? Right. For the for the free bot system and use that chat now, or do I yes. have to wait till June? No, what's your last name, Ed? Hudson. Hudson, okay. Oh, that's right. Hudson. 
So yes, you can. And let's make sure we got ammo on the side. One of the perks of going lifetime early. Well, that's what I was hoping. And, I, and I went in and I tried setting up a funnel today with it, but I still end up having a button. So, with the yeah, so this is your site. So one of the things you need to do, which you've already done, is have a domain name. So you bought that, okay? And did you buy the lifetime under KWA or you bought it somewhere else? You bought it No, I'm still else. on my seven-day free trial right now. No, no, I meant you bought the lifetime bot first, then you got KWA, right? Yes, yes. So I need to see if we refer, if we transferred that. I think out. you did. Okay, yep, yeah, I think we did too. So one, one of the things you can do is from um, get started page, come over to share your KWA affiliate links. You're not sharing oh, anything. Oh, I'm uh, not. Sorry, sorry, sorry. All right, that's good. So I, I set up a subdomain a chat with Barry the free bot. So, uh, yeah, so what you can do, Ed, is, you know, over here, go to share your KWA affiliate links. And then from that page, um, you got Barry the free bot. Wow, that's a good one. All right. So Barry the free bot.com. And then you click the green button already. So you've got some links here for our, you know, free for bots. That, yep. So that's what I would do. I use one of these. Like if I click on BarryTheFreeBot.com, I'm coming to your signup page. Right, but how do I set up the? I want I want to use the chat bot now instead of the. Yep. Button. Yeah, I'm excited uh, because in the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how you can become wealthy using and. Yeah, let me let me show you. Yes, so, you can so do now, that. Now you want to start using it, right? Yeah. So I set up a subdomain uh, chat with Barry the Free Bot. And I was going through setting up a funnel because you have a funnel uh, made for besides uh, besides that funnel right there. It looked like there was another funnel back there that we could use in time. Like if you go to uh, set up, go to create up to websites, web pages, and then create a web page. You create a web page, okay. So you've created a couple pages, right? Right, but uh, yeah, this is the one that you have chat with. I was Barry, just buryfreebot.com. Yeah. Okay. And if you scroll down, okay, the, there you go. There's that one, and then there the yellow go. button will show up here in a minute. Okay, and what else? And the the yeah, like, it shows up the yellow button. button. There it is. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't scroll down. So, so what I what I would do is I'd shrink this down a little bit so you don't everyone have to scroll to see the yellow button. Okay. Okay. Uh can we get rid of that show me now button? I couldn't figure out how to oh, to oh that sure. The the template. Together. Yeah. You have to pick a different template. And the way to do that is come over here to create a web page. Okay. Yep. And then pick it with a custom template and choose That's what one. I did. That does not have the opt-in form. Oh, okay. So when you select that one, then this one over here is a bot template, and that does not have the button. Oh, okay. I was using the step-by-step -step mini features one. Right, okay. which is a great one, except that one does put a button on the page. Okay. If you don't want the button, then you just simply over here create a page, you know, and then choose the one without an opt-in form, and then use this one for the step-by-step -step bot template. All right, well, I'll get back in and I wanna start using it and seeing, you know, showing people how it works. Right, and then what you can do too is, you know, like this page is for the sake of it, I would make this little, you know, put this like yeah. on three, three lines instead of five lines. Okay. Okay, but very good getting that video so you know what you're doing, all right? And then chat with Barry the bot, and click on as Michael, and I don't know what conversation you picked, but there we go. Okay. It was just a join the free bot one, you know, the basic one. And okay. then at the end for the website, that's when I send them to uh, <clears throat> the sign up page that we all use. Right. Okay. Yep. Very good. Good job. Okay. You're, you're way ahead of most people. I'm working on it. 
I'm trying to get this one, man. All right. I'm excited. Uh, okay, great. Well, since I had you know, I really tech support, what? why are you excited, Ed? I, this is going to, I think this is going to change the way marketing works. And uh, the other thing I'm, because we're using our, our Facebook page as the messenger system, that's going to send people to our Facebook pages and we be able to brand ourselves even more with that. You know, exactly. I'm at, I'm at 5,000 friends or I can be at 5,000. I'm a, um, Frank's my coach. So, okay. you know, uh, social building your social media, you know, bam, bam, build your list. Right. Uh, so I'm at 5,000 friends or I can be there really quick if I wanted to. Uh, so now I need to build my Facebook page and because we use the, the Facebook page messenger, that's going to, people can click on that and go to my Facebook page and like, and subscribe to my, my business page. Right. That, that's the way I see it. Yeah. We haven't talked about that much, but that's a very good application of it. You have a great coach and that's what he's all about is, you know, posting, 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 list building, list building, list building, and then drive people to a page. Lead generation where, is our business. Right. Lead generation. Is, yeah. Exactly. We're in the lead generation business. Yes. That's the way. Generating leads is what we do. I got it wrote down on my board right here too. I, okay, cool. <laughs> all right. Yeah. We should have started with this instead of tech support, but um <laughs> But yeah, yeah, that's why I'm excited. I, I I didn't think about it before today, but I set up my chat bot today and practiced with it, sent it to a couple of people just to let them see what it was all about. And I realized that they have access right away to my Facebook business page. That is, you know, Ed Hudson is, you know, I branded myself with my Facebook business page. Yeah, I, I'm going to show you one, another guy. Um, Oh, I'm not sharing the screen yet, am I? So let me um, let me share a screen and I'll show you what someone else who's playing around with it is doing today. So he sent me this. He's like, hey, I'm setting up my chat. Well, obviously as a lifetime. So here's what he did. Would you, you know, I haven't even gone through the details, but would you like a two minute strategy that will easily help you? I don't know what that was, but build a larger list. Okay, so he starts with, he took what we had initially, I think, you know, and just modified it to, would you like a two minute strategy that will easily help you? And then again, three bullet points there. That's what I like to do, you know, so that you know them right off the top of your head, you know, and hey, would you, you know, it's about building your list, right? Would you like to build a larger list, make more sales, a lot more free, blah, blah, blah. Yes, I like that. No, I'd rather pay. And then he drives people over to a page. You know, he, he inserted a new card here. Okay, first name, big dogs like to get it. Uh, you know, you may pay for it directly here and then a button takes them right to go pay. Yeah, or you want, yeah, I'd like it for, for a two minute strategy session, okay? So, I mean, you can do any pretty much, whatever you can think of, you can do with the bot. So I just thought, wow, it's really exciting to see you guys already getting started. We're, we're only gonna learn more. Maybe what we'll do is like, this is coming to me like, once the pre-launch is over and we're not doing this educating, 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 maybe we'll do like an, a, a Saturday afternoon workshop and where everyone shares what they're, what's they've done, you know? Or now, what's another question. I know that like, I only have one license, but right? can I, are we have like share codes? Can I make, because I'm a lifetime member, I can make chat conversations, right? Yes. So can I, are we have like a share code? So say uh, uh, it's uh, easier than that. Ted. A brick and mortar building, <clears throat> you know, like a realtor yes. uh, wants to do something with this. Can I set up a chat conversation or a bot conversation and allow them to use it? Yes, you can. Okay. So Ed, here's where it is. Uh, when you go into your dashboard, the left-hand column has all of the, the menu. Let, yeah. me let me show Go while down. you're talking, if you don't okay. mind. Send them sure. the link. So, oh, well. Uh, no, right, no, so no. Don't send your... them the link. Okay. I'll, I'll so, walk you through this, because this I'm is gonna, even better than that. 
click to access, but this is going to access mine, even though I was in your admin area. So I'm over here. Now go to what, tools, what? tools, tools, and then scroll down to the right there, create template. So when you create a template, let's go ahead and do it, Michael, add a template, give it a name, you know, share, shared template of something, whatever you want to call it, uh, your real estate template or whatever you're going to so Michael, type in any name for a shared template. I don't see anything going. Yeah, I'm waiting for you to give me an idea. Or so I'm not thinking about real it. estate template, uh, right. whatever you said, real estate client, for example. Right. So real estate flow, real estate chatbot, call it. OK, All so right. continue. All right. All right. Now, All let's right. scroll down a little bit to the section where it says flows. Okay. And click on flows. You pick which of your flows you want to include in the template. So you can have multiple different flows that you're including in the package, right? So you just pick a couple of these, Michael, just click a couple and then go, uh, that's probably all you'll need. The rest of it I'll explain later. But basically this is where you include all of the pieces. And if it's just one flow, you, you just create one flow, right? Let's save this for a second, Michael, and I'll show you what happens then. You're not giving them the flow identification on the three dots here to the right of the template you copy the link for the template okay michael go ahead and copy the link and paste it in the url so when you send this link to your clients this is what they will see they will see install that flow into your own dashboard Steve, so uh, that's your share code you can share okay. so then the they go install that in their Business dashboard. page. Yes. No, well, this this is a bot dashboard. This is to share with a bot customer. Yeah. So yeah, if yeah. you if you sold a lifetime account or a monthly bot account, this will share the flow into their own account so they can modify it. Now, oh, okay. If, if you want to have a client, like a real estate client, you just build it in your dashboard and charge them monthly and you keep all the money. You don't have well, to I, I just and they sign up underneath me. So, yeah. Right. You know, so, but uh I get it. Right. This so is our share be, code. There, there's a, this is huge. So this is going to be a, a lot of training going on through the next year or so. <laughs> right. Exactly. Oh yeah. And what, it won't stop there. Yeah. And that's right. what, I was, what I was thinking is, you know, we'll have like a, maybe a workshop or whatever. And we share with each other, like, Oh, Scott just share. I didn't know it could do that. And then you're like, Oh, well, I took that and I did this. And Steve's this like, wheel's well, working, right? I'm going to use it over here. So we have had some people that have bought more than one license for that purpose. They're like, you know what? I'm going to go make this available for someone else. But then I'm going to do my own stuff for them, charge them a fee up front for creating the flows and put it in their thing. And then they want to have control and modify or whatever. But I mean, there's so many different ways you can repackage this um you know to better serve and support others you know and make like scott just said you're gonna you can charge a traditional business owner or whatever whatever you want up front for creating that quote conversation that's 100 percent goes in your pocket you want to charge them a monthly ongoing fee to maintain it or whatever you want to call it that's 100 percent goes in your pocket you know so there's so many ways you can create tremendous value with this one, one reason you might want multiple bots, and here's the one I can think of, because you are hosting all your clients' pages essentially on a Facebook page, they would all go under your um, branding. They wouldn't have their own branding. Right, right, so right. If right. they want their branding, they would need a bot for them. Now, if it's someone that doesn't care about branding and you have like uh, Ed's marketing, you know, assistance or something, and you're branding yourself, and they don't care about that. That's fine. Um, there's a something we can do for that too. I'll come back to later. But but basically, the bigger issue is Facebook only allows 50 domains to be whitelisted. So if you have more than 50 clients, each with their own domain, you're going to run out of the ability to host all. Okay. Yeah, that's way in the future for me, but I just the wheels are turning. I'm thinking yes. about, you know, what we, what I can do. Right. So anyone else get an idea from what Ed just shared? Thank you, Ed. That was very helpful and I appreciate 
your enthusiasm, of course. Um, uh, Nancy, yes. Does this, Kenny have a question? I haven't been up it, here forever. Oh, I didn't yeah. see it. But yeah, yeah oh, I see Connie has a question too. But Nancy started to answer. I didn't see Connie, so we'll go Nancy, then Connie, and then whoever else. Sorry. Go ahead. I apologize for this question, but I haven't been able to be in on many of the meetings. And Rich and Ace had me change my Facebook name, and I was connected to an old page that's disconnected. I cannot figure out how to connect my new page to bot. Okay. So I don't know if there's some place where I can go to figure that out. Yeah, so it, it's right up here, right, Scott? Correct, add so the new page right when, in there. When you're in your admin area for the bot, Nancy, you just come over here. So this would be the one that's listed there. You click this little drop down, and then you can connect a new page right there. Okay, thank you. I had not been able to figure out how to do that so i wanted to make sure that i asked that question so i can keep from getting farther behind that's right okay. and then when you do connect a new page then let me know which of the two pages you want your license to be connected to and we can fix that on the back end okay because the old page is deleted it's not even there anymore so okay it's still on our side in our database okay uh, connectivity. So just when you put the new one in and connect the bot to it, uh, let me know which one is the active one and I'll delete the inactive one. All right. Thank you, Scott. Certainly. Okay. Connie, I apologize. I didn't see your hand up. So you're, muted. you're muted. I said, I'm just going to cry. Let me tell you. <gasps> <All right. laughs> okay, guys. You didn't notice her. Right, like okay. oh, I don't know if you're gonna cry because we didn't call on you or cry because you're so excited that you learned another new feature. Oh, I'm I don't cry over that. I, I could jump up and down. Um, thank you, Ed. Thank you for bringing all that up. Um, uh, so Clayton and I um, started working on on your video that was from the 23rd that was training. And I had asked Michael something, but before we even think about that, Michael, I need to just ask Scott, while you were training in that video, since we're not all the way through it yet, did yeah. you discuss how to put a persona? Oh, you don't remember. Okay. Never I've remember. slept since then. I don't know what I okay. did that training. Then, then Michael, can he do that today? Do you still have time for that? Or is there a way for him to put, take take my little bitty bit of my flow and put my persona that I want or show me how to put a persona because even if you, you put what I want right now, it's not even a finished one. I just want to be able to see. So when the, the artist gets me the finished rendition, I can put it on there, but I also want to know how to put the name that changed the name of my bot for that conversation. Yes, I, if we're going through things like that, Michael, I'd be happy to walk you through how to create a persona. All right, yeah, why don't you show me? I mean, I'll drive, you drive. And yeah, I, you, know you, you go through it and I'll walk you through where to go. Right. So right. back to the tools. All right, back to tools. There's a lot of tools in here. All right, so uh, personas in the lower right corner. Okay. Uh, so click click on add persona. Okay, and just so for people who don't know what a persona is, why don't we just say that? That's this little image up here, correct? The name and the image together make up your persona. Yeah, yes, oh. okay, sorry. So it's the image. So that's where you're branding yourself. So that's why it's important and something that, our developers were able to do that we didn't have initially not too long ago was the ability to change personas. So right. we'll talk about the applications, but Scott, go ahead and walk me through. So I click on add persona, give me a name. Who wants a persona? I, 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 I have one, Dr. Aaron. How do you e spell Aaron? E I E I R E. N E. It's French. Okay. Okay. Now we need a 
a picture. Now, if you have this yes, accessible it's on in the Messenger. Internet, can I grab that from you? From yeah, from grab Instagram it. Brand? Send it to Michael in Messenger, and we'll grab the image. Okay, profile. give me one second. Now, right. while while you're doing this, I'll explain one very minor thing. Um, I found a problem with the personas that the developer's working on right now. It does work on cell phones, but it does not work on the desktop. Mm. So, but it will, it will probably by tomorrow. So, oh, well, you know, it's a, it's a short term like, issue. You're like, it is working. Have, we're going to have it tomorrow. <laughs> well, say, at least say this week, this week, no, it'll right. probably be working tomorrow, but soon. anyway, very soon. But if you test it tonight, right now, you will see that, oh, why isn't the persona showing up on the desktop? It's, that's why, because there's an issue we're working on. So do you have the image, Connie? Yeah, I'm, I'm sending it to you right now. All right, great, thank you. Now so, guys, this is a rough draft. It's not how he's going to look. I just no say. <laughs> Sent it, it came into my. Michael. Oh, okay. Here we go. Okay. I didn't scroll down, so I didn't see it. All right. So what do I do, Scott? Right click copy on it. Copy the entire you. URL to the image location. Um, copy, save link. Okay. Copy link address. Copy link address. Yeah. There we go. So paste it in over here. Yep. Paste it. Hopefully it. that's it. I can't see it. So go ahead and let's see what you see. Couldn't, Couldn't complete, complete it. The, I don't oh. know what the link image location looks like can you paste it like up in your url where i can see yeah it? copy link address and then what i'm going to try a different one. Oh, where, where did it go do i have to go back or start over persona. yeah i think you have to start over doctor <clears throat> deal yeah there you go so paste is plain text maybe I, well well i want to see that's what i want to see message media uh, why don't you paste that into a URL where you can see the actual image? All right. Yeah. Into it, yeah. Paste it in a new tab. There you go. Now right click on right click on that and do copy. Um, yeah, it'd probably be better to save it locally. Save the image locally. Just save it. I'll just I'll just put it here under testimony. So we just call it Aaron. Dr. Aaron. E I R E N E. E N E. Thank you. That's under testimonials. All right. So I'm going to come back over to here. So now, um, usually, because I'm doing them all on a web space. I usually use the URL of the location. Click on the uh, information icon and see if it says you can upload. Uh, there you go. Upload an image here. So we're going to upload it to the web. <clears throat> so we have a place in your bot dashboard where you can store images that you're going to use. That's what he's doing now. Upload that bot image, Dr. Aaron. There we go. Save it. Choose, choose, choose image. Oh. Well, I don't, I I don't it. know if it's, you didn't choose an image though. You just saved the name. I don't think there's anything in there. Preview it. You got ahead of yourself. It's going to be in there. Okay. You just didn't name it, I guess. Okay. All right. Okay. Go for it. All right. You got, get the link. Now go back to the persona and let's add it, add that link. So this is basically just a web address. All right, so now I got to go all the way back to tools can, and start you, over. You can, but you can go back arrow as well. All right, I'll do back arrow. Hold it down, and it'll let you go back several pages. There you go. Add persona. Doctor. Okay, and then paste that URL that you copied. Okay. okay. That's what should have worked, but I think because you had some. There you go. Yep. Oh, okay. oh yeah. So there you go. There's your persona. Now okay. if you want to use this persona, yeah, go to yeah. setting. Now I'm going to set it just Joe overall for your entire bot for a moment. Um okay. where we have the ability to change it in midstream. But for now, go to settings 
And here's where you would set. If you have one persona, all, Michael, go to settings. Okay. If you uh, if you're gonna use one persona for everything, this is where you would set it in your settings. So scroll down, Michael. I believe it's on this first tab. Bot profile. Go. You you passed it. Uh, yeah. Click on that. Let me see if. So you can choose your web page or a persona that you create, your Facebook profile or the pro, the persona. So then if you save this, then Michael, instead of your Michael Price, Price is Possibility Circle coming up, Dr. This, this Dr. I, uh, Aaron will come up. So, okay, so now it'll do that? It isn't on, it. A, on a cell phone, it will, but not on oh, your desktop. That's uh, what I'm saying is, there's a problem. It's not showing up on desktops. But if you go to your uh, conversation on the cell phone, Dr. Aaron's profile will be out there. Okay. So very, very soon it'll work on desktops as well. But that's okay. how you set your profile for your entire account. What? If you yeah. How Sorry. do we do it just for that one so, conversation? So then you would, do, you would change it inside of a conversation. You can say, oh, you're in a certain position in conversation, like this person is talking in your game scenario that you have, you'd say, oh, uh, contact Dr. Aaron and, and interact with him. So the first thing you would do is inside the flow, you would set the persona to be Dr. Aaron before you start talking. Okay, so I'll have to show you that since we're playing around here. So Michael, uh, I believe you can get to it with this blue plus sign here. I don't remember if I put it in both places. Click, click the blue plus sign and see if there is action. Go to action. And it might not be in this plus, but we'll see. Go okay, click on that action card right there. And add content. Actions. And set persona. What you Oh, it's there. Right there. So click on set persona. Now, now nothing selected. Drop down and you pick which persona you want. So now, like yes, yeah, and, and publish right? and then publish. So then then so at the beginning of your conversation, set the persona that you want, and then you would start talking as that persona. Cool. So, so does it just change to this persona over here? No, you need to drag that to the beginning of the conversation and continue. So drag that card, yeah, all the way to the beginning. And that would be your start card. The, you would start by setting the persona. You can change the personas anywhere in the conversation, right? Set a yep. starting step right there. Yep, correct. And then you would drag the continue to your next message card. Oh, you missed it. Yeah, there you go. So now when you run this flow, the first thing it would do is it would set the persona to Dr. Aaron. Then it would start the message. Well, let me see that just for curiosity. I'm going to You won't see it on the desktop. Oh, all right. Darn it. That's what I'm saying. Oh, it's man. not working. But okay. that's how you do it. And when it's working, this is how you set it, put it in motion. Okay. Thank so you. We'll, we'll create a separate training on how to do it step by step. And, and then and I'll but, show a demo okay. when so it's maybe working. More now, let's talk about marketing. The, what are the applications of this? You know, like, let me, um, I have a suspicion here. So maybe we can, let me scroll out a little bit. So we have what's called a condition card over here. Let's just try and drag this over here a little bit. But, you know, one of the things you can do with the bots, so Scott, interrupt me, or maybe not interrupt, but you can clarify Chime and in. so forth. Chime in. Yeah, there you go. We just won't use circle back. How about that? <laughs> okay. So, um, we'll say, you know, you, you can have a condition, and if someone is from a particular country, or their male or gender, you know, the bot knows whether you're male or female. Um, you can ask different questions and based on their answer, then from there, drive them to a different persona, correct? Correct. Okay, so how is that gonna really help a marketer? Then? What do you see or what If do you, you know your clients, your, your target persona of your client, right? then you can uh, get information and you say, oh, I want to relate to this client. So certain section of clients, let's, let's say in your market, women relate better to women. 
and men relate better to men. Let's just say that in your market, that's true. So you can determine the gender of the visitor to your bot, and you can say, if the visitor is female, then set the persona to a female persona. And if the visitor is male, set the persona to a male persona. So now for your target market, if that's true, you'll get a better interaction with from your visitors with the bot, right? I'm not saying that's always true. Different markets have different affinities. <laughs> In some markets, male visitors will relate better to the women. They want to interact with the women, so vice versa. Right. I mean, it's, they're just going to be seeing, they'll be seeing the image there and the name. That, again, will right. be the persona, right? Hey, you do. I, apparently, the developer's working on it because I set your... Um, Come no, over the conversation you're in. This is Ed's. This is Ed's conversation. Okay. I didn't go back here and try this. Do you want me to try that? And see no, I was you... just, I was noticing the Rastabot. I think I was testing on your account and I set your profile to Rastabot and oh, it's okay. not Rastabot. So, <laughs> all right. No, that's fine. I don't believe it's working quite yet. As soon okay. as it is, I will celebrate and let you know. All right. So can I, if I come over here, so just a, a whole separate thing. Scott taught me this on a different one. So you can see you have, um, you have all these cards, right? And you always have one that's your start card. That's how the conversation starts. But if you ever wanna change it, just put your mouse over any of these other ones. And where's the, there we go. So I can change this one to be the start card at any time. Oh, just changed it. Okay, so let's just move that. So can I get rid of this now? You may. Show them where the trash can is. Uh, it's so up top. The up top, up the top. Just go up to the top of the action bond card. Oh, okay. There, there you go. Yeah, yeah there it's off go. the top of your screen. There you go. There's your trash can. So if you ever want to delete one. I was going to delete the con this link first. So let's do that. So if you ever have one of these connections, you want to get rid of it. You put your mouse on it, you'll see the trash can, delete that. Now you've deleted the connection. If you ever want to make a connection, put your mouse in the circle, click with your left mouse, hold it down, and just drag it where you want it to go. You want to get rid of it, put your mouse on it. That Now what Scott's saying, you want to get rid of that card, just click and delete it. Okay. Now, Michael, do two, two undos from this point. The undo is to the left of the publish. So right. undo the delete of the card, then undo the delete of the line. Now, delete the card itself, and I'll show you. If you had a card, it will delete the line with it. See? See? Okay. So that's undo. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. You can undo them. Okay. So that's undo for, back and forth. Might as well publish, right? Right. Say what I had. Okay. Let's talk about more marketing aspects, really, of, of the bot. Okay. So again, We've been talking about the bot and what are the advantages of having your own bot, you know, as opposed to the free bot system. So let me uh, pull this down a little bit. So I'm going to move this over. I already have one up there, so I'll just minimize that. Okay. So we have, you know, the free bot system over here. When we go live, anyone's going to be able to. You know, anyone can join for free on your page, whatever your page is. And then when they sign up, then during the pre-launch, they'll get a site to promote this with others. I think a couple of people just joined while we're doing this. So I'm going to refresh that. Yeah, two more people just bought Lifetime. So I was on a call that Lamar was there. So three people in the last hour, hour and a half, whatever. Um, so then... Um, you know, one of the benefits that we have, let's come down to the lifetime bot. So we've been showing the bot. There's a section called lifetime bot. There's a 15 minute video about our lifetime bot offer. Okay. So having the bot here where you can do all these things, that's one very key benefit. And there's just like Ed, you were alluding to, we could do this for a year and every time we're going to learn something new. And it's not just how do I drag lines or this or that? But from a marketing perspective, 
I've shared this briefly a little bit before. Let me, uh, we don't need to be on there. You know, why, why am I so excited about this? Because I've created content for many years. I wrote a book back in the 90s, but I did audio cassettes, DVDs, and so forth. And especially something like a book or an audio cassette or creating a video, it takes a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of money. And then if something changes and you want to change that content so it's more appropriate or now it's more appropriate for a different market to go back into the studio and reproduce or edit something, you know, you kind of, you know, you've got voiceover talents and all that, right? Very expensive to change if there's anything wrong. Very expensive. Trust me. Right. I've got a book. It's like, oh, I wish I had said this instead of that. Well, sorry, I already printed. I printed 20,000 copies on my first print. Okay. You know, I got to wait till those are all sold to reprint, right? You, but my point is with the bot, what you were seeing with dragging, dropping, editing, you could do stuff on the fly very quickly and very easily. Get a new idea. We're getting some ideas here today or a different niche that your product or service can now support. Um, that now, okay, you just create a new card. What we were showing, like, oh, okay, let's make the conversation go over here for this particular niche when I never thought of that particular niche before. So there's so many applications of it. So what I'm sharing, because we do have a deadline tomorrow night, I just want to make sure people are aware of what are the benefits of the bot. So we've been showing the bot here, right? But also um, anyone that's going to use the free bot system when they join for free. And why is it free? Because we have an option to upgrade and that upgrade is, hey, if you generate more than 100 contacts, which would be leads, then, you know, then you would be billed. But you can have up to 100 and no charge, right? But this is what you would be billed. And we're going to show more and more and more ways to generate more and more contacts so that people start paying more money. That's obviously what we all want, right? Well, rather than ever pay a monthly fee ever, and rather than not having access to do this, and I love that share code concept, that question you asked, Ed, where Scott showed me something new I didn't know, which again, when you go back to the dashboard over here, which I think was in tools, and we came over and we did templates, was it? Create a template. That's where you know we created a template and then shared it with someone else. The ability to have unlimited conversations or unlimited of these flows that you can personalize and edit to say and do pretty much whatever you want to do and have no monthly fee over here. So have no monthly fee ever. And we have a compensation plan for anyone that has the unlimited bot where you earn $150 bonus. There is a special additional bonus that ends tomorrow night, midnight, May 1st. So you want to make sure that if you're considering the bot, lifetime bot, or you know other people who might be interested in it, I would strongly encourage them to come to your support site, come over here to Lifetime Bot, watch this 15-minute video, and make sure they're very clear on this bonus. So what's the bonus? Anyone that gets a lifetime bot by midnight, tomorrow night, Saturday night, May 1st, will get our second income source, second product, I should say, which has an income source with it called the VIP Club. And that will be $20 a month. They'll have that fee waived forever. Okay. So for anyone's interested, like Al, you just joined us the other day, you'll never pay that $20 monthly fee. You know, Inder Paul, you joined us this week. Uh, Arthur, you already had it, you know, and so on and so forth. You guys will not be paying that monthly fee, okay? So what other questions do people have that we can best support you with? Brian got us a question. Okay, Brian, thank you, Lloyd. Brian, your question? Yeah, how you doing, Mike, and everybody else? Uh, 
in you know in, in regards to what uh you know the links were marketing because i i still have yet to figure it out so i know i got a white list and i guess after that white list then i'll just be marketing my domain is that correct so let me ask you what you have first so i know how to better answer that question just the bot i got a lifetime bot yes but you have the bot we're not talking about a landing page on correct. the side okay correct. so you have the lifetime bot if you are going to be building a website that promotes a bot on it you have a domain associated with that website then you need to whitelist that domain so the bot will appear on your website okay we don't want your bot to be abused by other people and their domains to say hey let me uh, use your bot because it's fun and interactive and bring people to my website right so you have to take your domain that you're hosting the website on and go to Facebook and whitelist the domain. There's a video on our support page that walks you through that with the caveat that that video does use the old uh, current slash old uh, presentation of Facebook pages. And mm -hmm. if you have a brand new account, you might have the new presentation, which is a little bit different from the video. So. It's still in Facebook. This process is the same, but it may be located in a different place. We'll probably have to record a new video showing the new video, uh, new new Facebook presentation as well. But if you have any problems, just reach out and I'll uh, maybe build a video for that. <laughs> okay. So, so my so my question, other question is: so if I don't have that set up, I want to just you know send out you know for the uh, free bot. What link do, do I send out just like right now if I want to just send it out? That should have been when you signed up, it immediately took you to a second page that had your link on it. And okay. you should have gotten an email that said, welcome to the Freebot system. Here's your link. So in both places, you should have a link. And it's, but it's Michael, it's in the format of like freebotsystem.com forward slash and a number. That number is unique to you. So are you referring to this page? This page. Right? Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. So you should have that. Um, you know what? I'm going to stop sharing my screen and I can look it up for you. I'm 99. Yeah, because, sure. because the problem is I can, I can find it, but you know, just like uh, how somebody said earlier, I can't see my contacts where, you know, I don't know if they're getting it or not. Yeah. Your unique link. So I have to look that up but I can do that later because I'm not going to do the tech support thing on here. So what was the free bot system.com forward slash 101-8435. That's your link, Brian. Nope, that's the wrong one. I typed in the link wrong, but what is it? Because um, uh, yeah, that, that was my number. Yeah, it was your number, but it should be. Um, free bot system with. Oh, you what can't look on your link? Room. Yeah, I, okay, I know how to look you up. Hold on. So it's, well, what did I just say the number was? 101, I think, 8453 or something like that. Uh, okay, yeah. Or that's something. Right. <laughs> yeah, we can't have the or something. That's the so that. okay. Here it is. I'm pulling it up right now. So it's it's this page. Ah, this yeah, let's page see three. if this chart is blank as well. No, this is, this is just... Two minutes. I'm going to... Oh. This oh, is yeah, just the, the sign up page. Show you how you there you go. So, so this, this is the page you give out to promote. Freebotsystem.com okay. and your referral number. And then whatever oh. link you sign up. Yeah, you're the one. I remember this the other day. You said, I told you your, your, uh, <clears throat> your, your username and password to get access to your Freebot is to your .ws email address. Right. So if you signed up for the pre-launch with that same email address, then I would check that folder and you should have, you know, um, the link to your support site as well. Okay, now, you know, since I got the lifetime bot, where are my contacts? I mean, you know, whenever I send it out, where is that? Cause I don't see it. You're not gonna see the, the contacts. Let me see, where's my question? Okay. 
So it's not that one either. Is there a specific URL for the support page? That's kind of what he's asking, I believe. Hey, Bones. Yes. yes. Yeah, so it, what it is is, that's the wrong one there. That was yours. I didn't catch the question then. Oh, this support page, the one that we, that affiliates get, this page yes. right there, that one. Yes. This page, yes. the it's URL, is that a, um, you know, one that he can just plug his number in and like I could plug my number in, it would come up. It doesn't seem like it's looking. There's no. two different ones. There yeah. are two different ones. Okay. There's okay. one for KWA owners and there's one for Freebot system people. Right. Yeah. So, so for KWA owners, it's a it's an ASP. It's an ugly, you know, ugly link. link. And then it's going to be domain. whatever whatever your main domain name is. So it's okay. a little what complicated. The reason why we did that is we it don't want matter. Wait, wait. I don't want to run off on that. What's it for the other people? I'm trying to get Brian's question answered because all of us have the same question. Right. It's not. Um, it's a number that's not your. It's not the same number that you're promoting. Okay. Yeah. You have two different numbers. You have a promoting number that's public, and you have a private number that's your back, your support link. So we don't want people to cross reference, you know, your site. So, so it's it's actually his contact ID number. In your and sponsor, since you signed up under Frank Calabro, <clears throat> so I could go into. So let me see if I can figure out how to do this actually. So it's br bry, yeah. No one will be able to know what their number is except for the email that they've got. Your sponsor will be able to look you up and say, Oh, you're in my contact management, and here's your contact it, ID number. It, That's the number. So is it Bryant Wilson or yes, correct, Wilson? Okay, so I'm gonna find uh, let me stop sharing here i'm going to get it for you hold on i'll figure out how to do it and then show people how to do it and then we just got to figure out your um your id number so let's see here but michael i don't think you want to really publicize that you can yeah no okay so there's there yeah so you're going to need to know it's I'm going to, I'm going to copy that and I'm going to create a new thing. So I'm creating okay. a chatbot referral conversation, which will allow you to ask for your number and it'll send it to you. So um, that'll be available in the next few days, but probably after the, uh, the lifetime, you know, special offer for tomorrow night is over. Sorry. Okay, Brian. Do it, so, I'm moving as fast as I can. <laughs> so let me see if this is right. And then I'm going to give you your unique link and then I'll show you how to, do it. So share screen. Let's come over here. Thank you for your question, Bones. So, so what it is, it's going to be freebot system launch.com forward slash blah blah blah, all that. And we're going to need a unique number here. Okay. So there's a way we can look that up, but there's no way you're going to know what that number is because we don't want everyone else to know that number. Okay. So this is your particular organization. Do you recognize these names, Tanisha? Oh, yes, I do. And some okay. people just didn't found it somehow. I don't want to, but. Well, this is yours. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So I can get rid of this part here. I'll put it in the chat. So it's going to be this, Bones. It's going to be this link right here. Okay. Right. And this number here is going to be different for everyone. So we got to find out what that is for everyone. So if someone doesn't know what it is, we of course have a way to find it, okay? So you got six people on your first level, Brian. Okay. Let me uh, go into the chat and I'm gonna send that right to you. And there's what we call, that's what we call your support link. Now, uh, on a separate note, we're really close. We've had a little glitch, but we're, and we expected this to be done yesterday and then we expected it to be done today, but where we're, where we're going with this is, let me see if I have this actually here. Are you, what are you seeing on your screen? Yeah, the pre-launch link. Okay, Notepad. so this is an abbreviated version for an SMS, a text message um, to just say, 
uh, you know, hey, Bones, you know, Joe signed up for the free bot system, find ways to share with others. And then this would be a link and this would put in the variable for your support site. So we'll send you a text message. So all these people that are saying, what's my support site link? I never got the email or I got the email, but I forgot where I put it. We're going to send it to you. Okay. And we're going to send it to you often. So that will be, unless you tell us to stop doing that, we're going to send that to you every time. Well, we'll, we'll initially do it every time you get a sign up, but then probably just once a day. And then on special occasions, make sure that you have, so that will be your unique link. And this is, you know, what is your unique ID? Okay. And there's no way for you to look that up, but we can. Okay. That answer your question. Yes. So we, we want to do everything we can. To, you're still muted, Bones. We want to do everything we can to drive people back to their support site so they realize, you know, da, da, da. So when we go live, as an example, um, on the support site, that's where, well, when I refresh, you know, we're going to have a special message here. Hey, we're going live on, you know, May 22nd, I think, is that's when our grace period starts. And that's when you can sign up for the VIP. So we, we're going to, text everyone and tell them, hey, we're going live. Here's where you get it. Go to your support site. You'll see it in the pop-up message, you know, or close it and we'll have a button here for, there'll be no more lifetime bots by then, I'm sure. And it'll just say VIP club or something like that. Go there. So sign up for you. The, Go ahead, the thing that's happening is that people are opting in. They're getting to that, right? And not realizing that this page is something they need to hold on to. Yes, I right. saw your video. Right. You did a great video on that. Thanks, man. Telling them. And then if they don't get the email, which a great many people are not getting them. I mean, it's not in spam. It's just not coming at all. So if they close it and it's not in their spam, they're completely cut off, right? Um, and, and, and they don't even know to come here to find it, right? They don't even right. know to come here and ask you. People don't even know that, the, that we have a Facebook group. So that's the, um, that's the heart. That's the, the thing. The wrinkles to get the wrinkle, out right? before I launch. Mean, it'd be great if like when the pop-up came up, it can be right in the pop-up. Here is your link. Don't, you know, uh, like, we could, like the, the message idea. about going back to your spam. Nobody, we don't actually need that anymore. Right. We all we, know that. But yeah, if we can come up, here's your link. Cop, you know, bookmark this now. You might not see it again ever. <laughs> yeah, we we could we could do that. So I'm going to pull some over just to show you some. This is my email, right? Yeah. So this is today, 7:01 a.m. This is our um, and it's an email service that we pay for to monitor and see how we're doing. What's our score? Well, our score they're telling us is 100. Okay, and we monitor our different IPs and so forth, and they tell us, you know, we got that IP, et cetera, et cetera, and it's not blacklisted. It's not blacklisted, you know. So, um, so we do these. We get these every day. How about yesterday? Well, we we're at one hundred percent yesterday. How about the day before? It's great Does that, that mean the box is telling you that? What? But it's great that they're telling you that. But I'm telling you what's happening with people. Oh, I, I agree. I agree one hundred percent. I'm just saying. I think the, I, I think we're not. The fix yeah. is that pop up, saying, just change it from go check your spam because they actually don't need to. There's no, there's no right. value. Yeah, no, I, I had an idea actually because of you, because of what I showed you earlier I'd today. Like, like once someone's been in once, then we don't have to tell them, check your spam anymore. We can give them a different message. Michael, okay. I think the point is we can assume they never get an email and just give them the information. And if they get the email, that's a frosting on the cake. If they, if it goes to spam, well, it doesn't really matter because we're giving it to them right here at the pop-up. Well, what, what, what we and I agree. What, I think it's a good idea. Okay. We Better can do. That. We can still have this, you know, for people who report it as not spam, and then if it went in the spam folder, right, right, and now they're seeing it in their inbox. That's great. But we can have a number two and make this a number three, and just say, like, hey, this is your link to promote, and here's your link right. to this site. Make sure you save this. So instead of Hey, watch this and somehow come here and get this. 
we can put some of this information in the pop-up. That's what I hear you saying. It is in, a, in one before the report span, yeah. report nice okay. span. Yeah, absolutely. yeah, that's a great idea. Hey, I didn't think why about. don't they, you just put it on the right, the right hand side where it's empty, just put bookmark in big yellow or red or green, something that pops out. It says bookmark this, this is your page. Because a lot of the emails that we've been testing, it goes into promotional. That's why nobody sees the emails. Okay. All right. So we're, we're really close. There's, it's complicated, but there's a lot of steps for the SMS texting capability. Um, you know, we've tested it, Scott and I, and it works. And then when we send it to the developers to make it work for everyone, we've been having a little glitch. But we identified an issue earlier today. And we got that fixed. So we got one more step. Once that's done, we're hoping that's done Monday. You know, everyone that signs up, we're going to keep telling them right off the bat, here's your support site, uh, you know, and give you an email so you know, oh, people are signing up. We want you excited. We're willing to pay for it, you know, and then we'll go from there to, oh, you had someone sign up for the Lifetime Bot. Congratulations. You just made 150 bucks. Then the next uh, texting message after that is, all the people that lost 150, good news, bad news. You made Bones happy, you just made him 150. It could have been in your pocket. Click here to find out why you don't ever want to have this happen again, all right? Okay, welcome Lynn, I just noticed she joined us. So, um, and then Latanya and Nikisha, who else? Charles Clark, Toyin, uh, Class Essentials, that's, I know who that is. Who is that? That's, is that Kenora? I think it is, right? Anyway, um, and Arthur. So welcome everyone. Toyin, you have a question? Oh, and then, no, no, yeah. I was just gonna say that's Kenora, yes. Okay, hey, I remember, not bad. Lloyd, you have your hand up. Yeah, when you, when on your promotion, this promotion page, uh, not on your promotion page, when you share a video, how do you ensure that somebody that uh, clicks in that video gets your uh, is credited to you if they if they sign up? If it's you're talking video, about yeah. sharing a video from this page, like in the how to share. No, no, there's no video on that page. Okay, yes, there are right here. There's That's on your too. main page. Okay. Yeah, like uh, any one of those videos that you share. How do you make sure you get credit for it? Because when you when you click on that and you go on YouTube, yeah, like you mm -hmm. click you share it from your site, but at the bottom of the right. the video, it doesn't have your information. Yeah, you well, go ahead, Scott. Open that video pop up page again, right? At the bottom underneath it says copy link. That should have your code in it. It doesn't though. It doesn't, but I'm we pretty, need to. I'm pretty sure, yeah, our designer, it's just, that is the YouTube video, that's all. So mm -hmm. if you're gonna share something, like let's say I wanna share this video, right? Um, on Facebook, I would make a comment about it. There's Connie's thing, but um, I didn't mean to do that. But, you know, whenever you're pasting anything, um, you know, watch. Yeah, put your link. Put your share link with the video. This video, well, can you do both? And and then, yeah. uh, and if, and, you know, if, hypothetically, if you like what you see, you know, blah, 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 message me for X, Y, Z, whatever, right? And then- You, you just give me an idea, Michael. Everybody will love this. Okay. I can create a, a what's it called, a Facebook, comment post comment monitor so you can say hey watch this video and if you like it type i want one or something and then the bot will send you your own personal link because they typed in the code that the bot's monitoring it's gonna okay. you know another thing to go on my to-do list yeah we 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 did a training on this a while back but we had um and then i'll come back to you lloyd 
you know, or because what I was thinking, Scott, is if you put two different links in here, I don't know how Facebook's going to deal with that. So they're taking, you know, I this do. link. Okay, let's just let's the, just Facebook it. will render the first link in the post. Okay. So if it's if the first link is the video, they'll render the video. So let's say we're taking the link, we're taking the link to the sign up page, and we got the link to the video. So uh, let's just say whatever we do that. So yeah, so Facebook's going to put the link there and let's see if I post it. But I like where you're going and I'm going to share the idea. So if someone comes here and clicks on this, they're going to go to this link here. They're not going to the YouTube video. Correct. Click on that. Yeah. So that's why I was saying putting in two links. I didn't see how that was going to work. But what Scott said, and I'm glad you reminded me of this, and let me see if I can find the image. Well, one of the things that we did on a different training, let me just move this, okay, Facebook. was posting an image that had a question and then it had different choices in the image, okay? And we told people, you know, pick A, B, C, or D, and based on their response down here, it could trigger the bot and it could trigger different conversations based on whether they picked A, B, C, or D. You follow me? So um, from a marketing and the other thing you could do too is if people liked it or commented on it, Scott even went into, I'll let Scott do it. But what it could do is randomly like your post and spread it over time, which will boost your post to face in Facebook's algorithm. They'll go, oh, people are commenting on your post and they're doing it over time. So this must be a good post. So we should put your post in front of more people. Does that make sense at a high level? So Scott, you wanna go ahead and take over? Um, anyone who has the custom bot, not just the free bot, can go in and create these Facebook post monitoring um, conversations. So if you post something with a question and the users interact with your post with a response, you can have different flows triggered from that Facebook post monitor. And if you want to go over that, I can show you where that is in the bot dashboard. Uh, otherwise, we can do a training. Yeah, I'm going to show. I'm going to show you an image that we had posted on Facebook. It's opening up now. It was a quote Bible trivia. Okay, but you get the idea. You could do marketing trivia. I know you're going to like this. Some of you and some of you won't. But whatever. It's. I just want you to get. Going to be surprised at how well I know it, Michael. Mm -hmm. like, what? what? Be surprised at how well I know the answer. I'm, whatever it is, I'm. I'm betting <laughs> I'm going to know the answer. Bible okay. trivia answer. <laughs> there we go. All right. So I bet you will. So this is what we did. We did an example. So you type in a thing. Who thinks they know the answer to this question? Just I, I, do. I do. Okay, I do. Wait, wait, wait. I know you guys do, but I Bones said he did. So I'm going to test Bones now. Okay. Come on. Go uh, back to your whatever days. I'm, I'm going to say. I, I'm, I'd be guessing. I'd be guessing. I, I'd be guessing. And well, um, what's I, your guess? reason, I would, I'm going to say Esther. No, it's yes, Titus. Yes, Titus ain't yes. the book of the Bible. It, it's yep. Esther. It's Esther. There you go. See, you know it's, it's correct. Somewhere, somewhere <laughs> inside of you, you know. But here's the point. You post something like this on Facebook, and when people see these things all the time, they engage a lot, right? But instead of just having it to be, quote, fun, do you use Facebook for fun or do you use it for business? You can use it for fun, but what if you could use it for business because the bot, you could create a little image, ask a question, and now people are like, ah, I think it's A, I think it's B. And if they say A or Ruth, you know, type in the answer below. Well, if they type in Ruth, we could say, good guess, but that's not the right answer. Blah, 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 blah. It, to learn more about the Bible, go over here. You know, or Esther, wow, Bones, you know what you're talking about. You got going it. To heaven. Bones, you got it. Everybody Bones, you, you're going to heaven. You said, Ruth, you're going to hell. Sorry. No, you need a thousand points to get to heaven. So you got to answer more questions. 
<laughs> you I, really, I really like this. But um, I want to ask a question, though. So right. would this, um, how high is this going to be tied to, is this tied to whatever Facebook uh, link we tie the bot to? Because I'm just thinking, if you're asking a question in a group that is not yours, will your bot pop up as well? No. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You you can share a post in a group if the group admin lets you. So you put the post on your page with interacting with your bot, and then you share that post into the group. And then when the people in the group click on the picture, it actually takes you takes them to comment on your page, not on the group page. So it's there is a workaround for it. Um, so we're able to direct a, where the bot has the conversation. So we're I'm able sorry. to direct. So we're, are we able to direct where the bot has the conversation, as in based on our posts? As it, are, are we able to link the bot to our posts? Is, I when guess you, what I'm saying. Yes, you you can. That's what I'm saying. Is this post that Michael just created, uh, or or showed was a, a specific post that we tied the bot to? But yeah. that is a post on your page, not on a group anywhere in the web internet. So you go to your page, you create the post, you post the picture, you have the bot monitor comments on that post on your page, and then you can share that post elsewhere. And so when people go to comment on the post in a group, it takes them to your page where they can comment on it and the bot monitors your post. Okay, great. I really like that. Yeah, some okay. groups may not allow you to share external posts, but most I think will. Yeah, so so just to summarize, that's why I opened this up. So this was the flags, you know, so for the flag, I went and saw my pages. So this is the page that I have the bot connected to. So what Scott's saying is you would need to come here and do a post here in your Facebook page. Then if you want to use, as an example, that image that I showed and say, hey, you want to do this in a group? You can go post that in a group, but when they click on it, they're going to come back to your page. And then when they're commenting on it or liking it or whatever, they're doing it on your Facebook page. And you can give the bot back here a whole bunch of different rules. Hey, if they answer A, initiate this conversation. If they set, choose B, initiate this conversation. Yeah, right. yeah, and you would you would do that outside of the conversation flow. You do that in another place in the bot dashboard, um, and that's in that's in tools. But Michael, if you scroll down to one of your posts for a moment here, is go uh, to I a post. I haven't posted it here in any, so long. Any, no, it doesn't matter. Any post, just go to your first post. Um, do you have not a picture, just a post, a comment? Is there a well? It might be on the right hand side. There should be a share post. So I don't even, okay, here's a post. Is it under the bottom? Or maybe, be, there you go, share. See how it says share? Yeah. So you that's how you, you take your monitored conversation, the bot's monitoring, and you share that conversation into the group. To a group. Okay? That's how you get the bot to respond to posts in a group. Because you're not actually putting the bot in the group. You're sharing your monitored post on your page into the group. And then when people go to monitor to comment on it, the comments go back to your page and your boss sees it on your page. So, so at a high at a high level, one of the things I will say, what I've noticed, and you know, Bones, you know this, and um, you know, I don't know if Ed's still on the call, his, you know, his his mentor from Frank and other people, that very, very successful people, they are posting a lot. They're posting on social media a lot, okay? And so to be able to be able to put out some content and that the bot will leverage and help you get more exposure um, is what's going to boost Facebook saying, oh, people must like this because they're interacting with it. So one of the things, you know, I didn't say, you know, when people like things and so forth, oh, and, you know, they see how many people like it, how many people are commenting on it, et cetera. You can have the bot 
randomly give different responses at different times as if other people are doing it. Is that correct, Scott? That's my understanding. Sort of. It's um, not exactly. We'll go over that in another time. But basically, you can't. You don't have to like. You can have your bot like certain. Um, and actually, I think Facebook is getting rid of liking page. It's liking pages. Never mind. Um, likes are not as important anymore as they used to be to face to Facebook. So we're not focusing on likes. Facebook is completely getting away from liking of, uh, you know, okay. Anyway, it's a bigger conversation, but, is that but where yes, I thought, I thought you what you were actually probably referring to that's more important is, um, you can comment. Oh, oh, okay. Random, response. random phrases. So you can say, you can have a dozen different responses. Yeah, 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 yeah. When people comment yes. on your post, you Thank can you. have it select a random response that you've pre-programmed so it doesn't look like you're a bot with good answer, good answer, good answer, good answer. You can say, hey, that was a great guess, good try, you, or or whatever. You can you can have different forms so, yes. of that's the wrong answer. Like, so where oh, that's a good guess, or yeah, that was a great try, or you know, and it'll randomly pick. So where, yeah, where I was going with that is if you create, you know, hypothetically, just pulling up again, you know, the one I had, you create some trivia or something that's engaging for people. And when they respond, you can have the bot, bot give an auto response. And then, like Scott was just saying, so that it's not the same response every time, you can have the bot give different responses. And what I recall, correct me if I'm wrong here, is instead of it responding as soon as someone comments, you could delay it so that that way you're spreading out your responses. So the more responses you're having, that's yes. both other people as well as you responding, that's going to boost your engagement on social right. media so that Facebook or whatever other social media platform media platform is going to go wow people like this content so let's make it more available to more people correct so i have a question about that's that I mean. that's yes. what I mean. so so i think the reason that w where my mind was going when i asked about groups was because i thought the bot was going to be engaging in the comments in the group, but is it engaging with that person in their messenger, in their Facebook messenger, or directly on the comment section of that group or of that well, post? Both. You of can that choose. Post. Mm -hmm. On that post, you can have the bot post publicly in response to any comments on the post, and or you can have the bot send them a private messenger message directly to them with that no one else will see oh wow oh that's yeah, yeah 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 that's, that's good cool. that's, okay that, that's Th that is great so wow. is it so it, so is it also gonna happen yeah i'm asking more questions michael is not in his <laughs> so is no, it, no, is it also got that one that, <laughs> yeah, say, that like again. All... say that again scott say that okay, again no, I, I got it i got it and no that's why no not because you didn't get it right right but, <laughs> You got it. Wow. I want him to repeat it because I don't think everybody got it. Yeah. Hey, Bones, do you want to repeat what you heard me say? Yes. I yes. heard you say that you can um, have your bot, you can make a post and you can have your bot interact with people as they comment on that post publicly. Yes. And also. And privately. Um, uh, privately, right. Now, for me, I, I like the privately, but the publicly is where I know that Facebook will then promote that post. So that's super exciting. Yeah. And with the spin tax feature, you can actually um, write one sentence and replace a word that's uh, good, great, awesome, you know, and, and have it pick a different word in like three different places, right? So you say, say you pick three different words that you're spinning in three different places. Now you got three to the third different variations of, of uh, responses. So you're gonna have 27 different potential random responses so that Facebook sees that, wow, you got a, a someone live responding because they never respond the same way. Right. 
but where I see, let's talk about marketing again. So I always like to go is like, sometimes you're not going to want to have your link out there in somebody else's group because right. they may shut you down. Okay. Well, all right. So I'm trying to think if that's think what would occur, group. but, but you, you know, it, you can have different things you might say in a private message that you don't want to say in front of everyone else, you know, Hey, maybe you want to give a discount or a special offer or something to certain people, you know, can you even do that, Scott? Hey, the first five people that respond, I'm going to give you a, a private, uh, you know, a link to a private site where you're going to get this at 50% off everyone else too bad, but yes, you, because in the conversation, you can just have a count, a counter and the first person comes in, you reduce the counter. Next person that comes in, you reduce the counter. So the first thing you do is say, if the counter still has a positive number, then make an offer. And if the next person comes in and it reduces the counter, it reduces the counter. And when it hits zero, it says, if there's still you know, a positive number in the counter, then make an offer. If not, then it just doesn't offer. All right. So yes, we can do pretty much. I got a quick question, Michael. It's sure. Maybe really Scott will help you out in this one. What's the benefit of adding known members of the bot to your facebook page adding known members of but when you bot. when when you set up your page, facebook page uh about uh, uh, two or three link uh, you know sections down you have a set of people asking you to um oh, connect in, with I, them and what's the benefit of connecting to those people well i mean they're, they're teammates so technically speaking yeah, but it's it's not, there's the saying, I said this the other day, it's not who you know, it's who they know. So, you know, people, you, you want to have people connected to your Facebook page uh, who know, like, and trust you, but then there are people who know, like, and trust them. So you could get con their connections to see that they're interacting with your page or that they're friends with you or whatever, and then get those people to interact with you and your page and your bot and your offers, et cetera. But these are people that are already, that you know are already members of the bot system. No, I, th I think what you're saying is when you're setting up the Facebook page, is, is Facebook prompting you to invite people to your page? Yeah, but these are people that you already know. Right. That people that I see in, 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 in the training. Okay. So, what is the benefit of uh, okay? Here's the benefit. Invitation. Yeah. So Facebook says, "Hey, if if people uh, don't know about your page, then you know they're not going to join. And if a person stumbles across your page and nobody's there, they're not going to join because it's a ghost town. So the first thing you do is you invite people who already know you to join your group, so that there's activity in the group and there are more activity that's in the group the more facebook will promote you as hey you might also like this group and then when people come and discover your group they'll see that there's activity and they will want to participate nobody wants to join a ghost town okay yeah. good very well said and and this has been a long time ago i heard this but um why people would get together in groups to do this is facebook you know they always and other social media platforms, they change their algorithms, but they look at as an example and say, well, if there's at least 10 people that are responding or commenting on your post, well, then they're going to boost your post. OK, or if you have um, Max Steingart's the one that taught this, have at least four words in the response, then they're going to count it a certain way as opposed to a one word answer. So, you know, I've seen some people just say, Oh, just say yes, or give me the number one in the response. I wouldn't do that. I would tell them, give them a phrase, because then the more words that, that Facebook sees that you're, someone's typing, then it's like, oh, this is a real conversation. These are people that are really engaged, okay? So what right. people have done before is, let's say, whatever, there's what, 15, 16 of us? Let's say there's 15, no, there's 20, but just say, hey, uh, Today, we're going to post on Bones's page. So everybody go to Bones's page and everyone posts a comment. He likes that, right? But then tomorrow, we're doing Connie's page and then Al's and then Dean, you know, 
Steve's, et cetera, et cetera. So we all help each other by we're all commenting on each other's posts and then Facebook sees that, oh, there's engagement. Does that make sense? Yes, a lot of sense because, I, I, because I've, I've seen these people and I'm thinking, well, you're already a, you know, a bot owner. I mean, why right. you want to be connected to me? Right. But you just explained the benefit of that. Right. It's yeah, Terrible. Scott Scott said it really well. It's a ghost town. If you're if you're visiting a town you've never been to and there's a restaurant on each side of the street, one's parking lot's full and the other one's empty, where are you gonna go? I mean, if you want a seat really quickly, you go to the empty one. But if you want good food, you go to the one where it's packed, right? It's the same concept online, no different. All right, I'm gonna need to wrap it up. Uh, how about two more questions or comments? I have another Pro question. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so the the the, the activity right. that <laughs> the activity that you just talked about on Facebook in terms of the bot interacting privately or publicly is that something that we can also do on Instagram or other media like WhatsApp, like you know, WhatsApp, Telegram, text. SMS, mm -hmm. email, but not yet Instagram. Soon Instagram, we're working on multiple channels. So okay. Uh, we're all right great thanks mm -hmm. okay steve mm -hmm. did you have a question or were you waiting How about, uh, I just, I just had a, what i just had There's a comment a business okay. over there. Right. go ahead priscilla and then steve okay i said how about linkedin i have a lot of people that are yeah. business owners even yeah. real estate agents brokers so LinkedIn has a really strict policy about automation. You can write a post and post on your own place, you know, put in your profile a link, your website, and then interact with people on LinkedIn and get them to come check out your profile to see who you are and what you're doing, you know, intrigue them. And when they check out your LinkedIn profile, they'll see, hey, I'm doing these great things. Check out my link. You can do it that way. But all your advertising on LinkedIn really has to be on your own profile or pay yeah, for your I, advertising yeah because i know that facebook isn't facebook now linkedin aren't they connected or is it instagram instagram that's instagram okay last question then we gotta go thanks steve, Bob. Steve, what was your comment? Oh, I just had a comment about um, I, I, the system is awesome. I was playing around with it and uh, I got it hooked up and integrated with my GetResponse email account. And um, I found out that anybody that comes through the messenger that I have out there in Facebook world, there's a whole contact manager in the back office of the admin area that I can personally interact. I can send them a message to. Yes. I mean, it's just amazing. I just wanted to say that. That's so well. somebody asked earlier, I don't recall who it was, um, it was a bot only person about where, Brian. how do I find my contacts, right, Brian? It says, how do I find my contacts? Where are my contacts? So if you don't have a, like KWA uh, contact manager that we've integrated with, and until we integrate with the Freebot system with the contact manager, and that's still a month out, today, if people are interacting with your bot and you have the lifetime, then you can go into the bot dashboard and in the left-hand menu, there's users. And if you go in users, you can see everyone who's interacted with your bot and you can interact with them directly from within the bot. I mean, and it has stats and everything. I mean, like yeah. <laughs> the, the language, the time zone, the, uh, the right. name, the number, everything. And I was like, and yeah, I was amazed. So, right. so <laughs> yeah, so that's what Scott was talking about. So in your dashboard, you have users over there. You see the person, when did they come? If you click on them, you're gonna have more information about them. You're gonna see, you know, their profile, that's their Facebook profile picture, you know, their time zone, that's that's what we had to convert, but that's Pacific Standard Time Zone, et cetera, et cetera. And then whatever email you typed in, whatever phone number you typed in, et cetera. And, and then we Ahead, if you ask any questions and you set up custom fields or variables to capture like that data, here. all of this data is in the in the user's ID. So this is refer CID. This is a test to say, 
who is you know the referrer of this of this person so you can you can grab information in the conversation and it's all shown in the users uh, data so, record so some of these things actually not to get technical here but an idea that just popped in my mind um, Scott saluted me to the value of this is some of these these are variables okay so you know we're knowing what bot flow or what what conversation they came from um, this is my account id with kingdom wealth alliance but where did they come what web page did someone come from where do they go to you, all right so we show some of that but these things back here uh let me see if i have it i think i did if i'm on the right place uh, i think it was ah i got another well, we're going to create, uh, let me see, don't I have it here? I thought I had it here. The point is if you ask any questions and you want to guard that data, keep the data up about the responses. So when they come back, you can greet them, welcome back and say, oh, last time you were here, you were looking at the t-shirts the and you were looking at red and blue and you couldn't decide what color you wanted. Uh, how about both? You know, I'll give you a discount. So whatever, right? You can based on their previous interactions. Ah, you there we go. Direct yeah, this is, this is where this is where I wanted to come. OK, and this is something we're going to do for what we call the VIP club. So some of these things can be text fields that okay. or let me let me bring it over next to the bot. So they're next to each other. OK, so I think it was. Yeah, there. So these things right here, these are variables. OK, and what we're going to do is we're going to build some basic conversations. And so whatever people type in here, well, hey, how can I, you know, would you like to? So whatever they type in here will populate over here when they click save. It's going to update these fields in here, which will update a conversation and or whatever they type in here, you know, which would be in the chat will get saved over here so you'll always know their answers there as well right Is that so let me clarify because that was really vague michael i All mean right. you understood what you were saying but i was listening and so what michael is saying is we are creating conversations show the other the square with the fields in it we are creating conversations that vip club members only will be able to say well i want to change this line in the conversation and I want to change this other line in the conversation so that people who don't want to go into their bot dashboards can customize a prepackaged conversation somewhat. It won't be fully customizable, but it'll be somewhere in the middle of, oh, I just want to change this one little field or this other little field. And then when the conversation is triggered, we will have the, the user's conversation uh, corrections or changes inside of your own bot dashboard so that when your visitors come to your conversation, the conversation will be customized to your visitors, whereas the same conversation that another bot user is using will have that conversation tweaked to their bot customers. And that's, that will be available to VIP members. Now, everyone who has the bot can actually go in and manually do that themselves, but this interface will make it easy to make simple changes. And Scott, you said for people that don't want to go into their bot, and do this there are going to be a lot of people that won't have the admin oh, area because they won't right. have a lifetime bot so what because this we're offering is going to provide the VIP. With the vip club this is part of the vision of the vip club but the vip club will allow is the capability to customize to a degree some of these conversations without having their own lifetime bot okay right. so someone can join as a free member you know, over here, they can join as a free member, but rather than only having, um, let's see, a conversation like this, where it's like, oh, I just get to put in my link, which is the call to action link. Eh, I want a little more control than that. Okay, well, that's where it would be over here, their ability if they're a VIP club member. Oh, okay, we're going to create conversations that they can type in whatever they want in these fields and it would update the actual conversation when they click click to save without them having 
or going into their bot admin area over here. If they have one. Yeah, because a lot of people won't. Right. Okay. So, so this again, will be kind of a step into a custom bot where you say, well, we're providing these free bot conversations, but if you'd like to customize a conversation somewhat, get the VIP club. And once they do that, they'll go, you know, I really like to do that, but I like more control. Maybe I should upgrade to the custom bot so I can really customize the conversations. Yeah, it's an amazing system, I tell you. Thank you very much, Steve. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to call it a day. Um, I would encourage you, okay, to make sure if you don't have it, you get it. And if you do have it, you make sure other people are aware of the lifetime option because by midnight tomorrow night, that's where people can get the bonus of the VIP club, what we were just talking about, without paying for it. That's going to save them 240 bucks a year forever. Okay, and we do have plans to raise that price later. So right now it's saving them $240 a year. Hey, we raise it to $30 a month. Okay, now it's gonna save them $360 year after year after year. So that's our focus is to keep adding and adding and adding value to the VIP club. So that's a great product, everybody will want it. But the fact that there's also a great residual income from it that anyone can afford 20 bucks a month, Okay, and you get a, five people get five and get five, et cetera. You can see what it could turn into. Okay, so guys, uh, I do have a call tomorrow, one o'clock Pacific time. Thank you so much for showing up. Have a great evening. Be safe. Thanks, Michael. Okay. Stephen. Talk to you soon. Okay. God bless you guys. Bye, guys. Thank Thanks. you. Good night. Bye. Thank you. Good night.